good day all, and welcome to another smashing, DAG, the aviator video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Cheers. Welcome folks. So this video is going to cover a RC aircraft systems simulator I created because I get an awful lot of questions about how to program radios for RC airplanes. But first, I want to do a shout out to my awesome sponsor, RTL Fasteners. If you go to their website and you spend more than $25 and use a code DAG25, you'll get 25% off your order. So if you need servo screws, bolts, nuts, blind nuts, any of those type of fasteners, they're most likely going to have it. So in the past, I've had a lot of people reach out to me on how to program their radios or how to set up a servo or how to set up bomb bay doors or how to set up landing gears with uh, sequencers. So I created this, what I call System Simulator. So I'm gonna do a whole bunch of videos in the future, basically identifying very specific topics. The system is based on my Futaba S bus system using my 18SZ. And um, I use a lot of standard servos though, going through the SBD-1 decoders that's part of the S bus system. So as you see all these different parts and components I have here, when I dive into these videos deeper, hopefully this will help people understand how to better program the radios. And keep in mind, these are just my opinions, everybody. There's all kinds of ways to program radios. So if we kind of take a tour around the simulator here, I've set it up so that there is multiple channels on ailerons because I've had people you know, say, how do I set up two uh, channels for the ailerons on the airplane. I've had them do that for the elevator. So that, you know, I know there's a lot of people out there every time I make a video about radio it says, well, all you need is four channels. Well, that might be right for a trainer, okay? But the reality is, is that it's really nice to have two channels on your ailerons so that you can trim them and not have to do it mechanically. You can do it through your radio. Same thing with the elevator. So with this simulator, I'm going to be looking at the dual aileron servos, the dual elevator servos, the uh, up to four channels on the throttles so that you need to adjust the idle on a particular engine if you have a four engine bomber. You know, looking at the flaps and a leading edge device, looking at the bomb bay, looking at the nose gear and the nose gear steering. You know, I always use a separate channel on my nose gear so that I can trim the way the plane taxis on the ground without trimming the rudder. So I always have two channels, one on the rudder, one on the nose gear. And when you retract it, you might want that nose gear to quit steering. So I actually mix the nose gear to the rudder on a switch. And I'm going to be able to demonstrate that here. So hopefully when... I look at all the questions I've been asked and I take each of those and make a specific video on it. The video might only be two or three minutes long. I'll be able to demonstrate it with this and get people to understand it better. So, you know, I love S bus with Futaba. That's all I fly. And I'm going to do deeper dives on how S bus works using their decoders where you can use a normal servo. You don't have to have S bus servos you know, how one wire can basically be run out to each of the decoders placed out throughout your aircraft and stuff like that. Another thing is, is I have two air systems on this, one for the canopy control and one for the air brake. And I'm going to talk about how you program that in. And also I'm going to talk about kind of the philosophy that you need to learn early on with your radio of how you're going to set your switches up so you have some uniformity throughout all the airplanes you fly. You don't want to use one switch for a flap on one airplane and on another plane have a different switch because your your mind just won't remember where that switch is each time. Maybe it could. You might be a lot smarter than me. But for me, it's hard for me if I start mixing my switches to know which one is which on which airplane. So hopefully with this simulator, I'm going to be able to answer a lot of questions, folks, because I am just here to try to help everybody have some success in the hobby. Now, for all the trolls that are going to say some of this is set up wrong, this is for educational purposes only. I really don't care what, what trolls have to say. And actually, I love trolls to come and troll me instead of other people trying to get into the hobby. So everybody rock on. Please like and subscribe and have an awesome day.